Jason, thank you very much for that wonderful introduction. Mr. Eddy, thank you for your hospitality and for opening up this fantastic room. I welcome our Lexington and Alexandria people on iChat and all of you here in this room tonight. Together there are more people at this meeting than there are in most towns in the, my state of South Dakota. So this is a big crowd. And I must say I was very frustrated in talking to many of the politicians on both sides. But one day, shortly before I left the country, I ran into a young man who said that he couldn't affiliate any longer with the parties, and so he and a group of young people started their own political party. His car has been burned. His house has been ransacked. His son, his, 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 uh, a friend of his son was shot. I asked him why he persists. And he said, because if I don't do it, no one else will. And that there's something more important than doing things just for ourselves. That at some point in life, you've got to start understanding that we've got to do things for others. And then he said, I have a young daughter. She's seven years old. And I would sacrifice everything so that she has something. And I'm going to keep doing it. Well, that's the kind of fervent determination that it's going to take in this country, too. That ability to give back, to be a part of those bundle of sticks, so that together we can take on the problems that we face here in Harlem, here in New York, or in my state in South Dakota, or anywhere in the world. And it's up to us. And so tonight, I hope we can talk a little bit about what that means. I'm just very grateful to Generation Engage for giving me the opportunity to participate. Thank you very much, and I'll take your first question. <laughs> 